So thank you guys. Uh, it's real a real pleasure. My name is Perry Roach. I'm a CEO of a company called NetSweeper, co-founder. And essentially NetSweeper is a um, global company. We have offices, headquarters in Amsterdam and all our development is done in uh, Canada, just outside of Toronto. Um, very interesting sessions, really appreciate being invited. And I, I, I can tell you that uh, at the end of the day, <clears throat> my apologies, the, um, excuse me, the, there's a lot of contributing people. Um, at one point we had up to 185 participants. I'd really like to, uh, now we're at 189, I'd really like to show you how we can contribute and where we are at NetSweeper. So, um, you know, NetSweeper is an internet web filter and we block uh, websites. And why do we do that? Well, in the correlation to what Scam Advisors is working on and the rest of the wonderful team here, participants, countries hire us to enforce the laws on the internet. So that, that's an interesting point. I mean, as we learn more with these sessions, it's time for governments to wake up, isn't it? And identify that this scamming is highly illegal. There's a, there's a statement out there that Snowden talks about as internet is real life now, isn't it? Internet is our life. So why aren't we enforcing the same laws that we've had around for 300 years on the internet? And I think that's a really good lead in to enforcement of these scams. You know, Thomas, excellent presentation on how you uh, continually and nonstop bring down websites. But give you guys a, uh, uh, a, uh, an idea of what's going on in the internet. I'm just gonna show you um, a little bit about NetSweeper. How do I do this here? Um, anyway, I'll go back. Um, let me stop share and let me go to a browser. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, at the end of the day, we all use your for, slide, Perry. Uh, what happened here? Sorry. Can you see that now? No, we see uh, introduction. Perry, just change your tab up at the top right there. You've got live stats open already. Yeah, I couldn't see it. So <clears throat> NetSweeper sits in telcos around the world in the core network of the ISP. And we have over a billion end users now seeing the data anonymously. And uh, we scan sites automatically with our neural nets and AIs. And in this case today, we scanned 245 million sites. Of those 245 million, 50 million of those are new websites. So we sit in the core networks of these internet service providers that are placed in there as a government compliance and block things like CSAM, child sexual abuse material, terrorism, anything that they deem to be illegal. And what we need to do as a group here is utilize NetSweeper as that last mile. All the efforts you guys are working on can be brought in and actually blocked at a URL, UR, URL level and an IP level. And we see the traffic, find 50 million new sites, and we're working with scam advisors and others. But at the end of the day, let me go back to, um, my, uh, let me stop here. I don't know what's wrong. With my apologies, guys. I can't see anything on my, because. Perry, I think you're on a different window now. Go back to your Edge browser. Yeah, sorry about this, John. No problem. Go to your Edge browser, down to the bottom there. Yeah. yeah. And then your tab next to the live stats is your presentation. Yeah, but it, the problem is the, uh, the thing is, uh, is blocking it. I can't see it. Oh, um, let me just. You can move the thing. Then Perry, if you. Uh, uh, there we are. Okay, yeah. sorry guys. Yeah. Jeez. Hey, together we solve it, no problem. <laughs> it's a team effort, it's a team effort. It's not there. I, I see it, Perry. Oh, you see it now? Okay, yeah. good. Just hit page down and you'll go down a page and we'll see what happens. Okay, good. Sorry, there guys. So a little bit about NetSuite. We've been around for 21 years. Again, my apologies, guys. And uh, we use Teams. And essentially, we are um, a internet web filter in the core of hundreds and hundreds of internet service providers. Um, you know, guys, one thing that people get a little uh, confused about, not maybe not on this call, is internet is about the worldwide internet. It's not about Europe. It's not about America. And the politicians out there forget that. 
So each country has their own jurisdiction and other countries cannot tell another country what to do. So we need to correlate and collaborate and crowdsource what's going on here and, and, uh, and manage this at the network level. So um, as I mentioned, we, we actually have 50 million new URLs every day and we, can, we find every single online sales site, which is a big part of scam. So we understand what's going on. We can see that uh, one, somebody went to a gardening site, but it's really masked as an online drug site. And we can help some of the team members on this call with identifying scans, but more importantly, the last mile blocking it. Um, one of the issues that happens with uh, what's going on here, as Thomas pointed out, is you will take down a site but within milliseconds, nine other new sites will be propagated and linked. And NetSweeper will see those sites, one of those 50 million new sites, identify that, wait a minute, this is the same content as an identified scam site and put it on the block list. One of the big issues is that uh, we, we basically um, enforce the laws on the internet and ISPs are put in a position to do this. And they reject this. They are worried about slowing the network down. They're worried about taking their network down and mitigating those risks. NetSweeper's in there already. We've got proven solutions. We scale and we can get this done. So at the end of the day, an ISP is asked to put up millions of lists, sometimes millions of URLs in these lists, maybe a dozen different lists for CSAM, terrorism, other things. The platform that we have helps them enforce these laws. So basically, um, prevention instead of treatment is what we're, we're looking to do. Automated web filtering can stop consumers from accessing these harmful sites. Can you take them down? Of course we can, one website at a time. When you're finding 50 million new websites and scammers propagate their IP addresses instantaneously, it's a real challenge, isn't it? So we need to automate this process at the source and the core of the networks. We're open to partnerships, open to working with anybody, but really it's more important for the law enforcement on this call to understand that there is a proven tool currently doing this now. Remember, we're the mechanics of the internet. A CSAM site, a child sexual abuse site, is now being blocked and managed with NetSweeper tools. We can do the same thing with a scam site. So at the end of the day, um, the biggest challenge is we take one down and nine other pop up illegal gambling sites. We know every single new gambling site in the world. You take one down, nine will pop up. Our AIs and neural nets will catch this, identify it, and if it's on the list, we will block it using our dynamic AI and categorization base. You talk about 8,000 scam sites, you talk about thousands of scam sites. Let me give you some stats. We have over 10 billion in our URL and IP database currently. And basically, when it comes right down to it, we see trillions and trillions and trillions of requests per ISP, right? Because you've got hundreds of millions of customers going to new and existing sites. Our largest customer has 420 million subscribers. So small, medium, large internet service providers are already in our repertoire and we are already managing and in their core networks. So just some of our customers that use us for different reasons. And uh, really what I'm after is to bring in uh, a scam uh, partnership with these 188 participants today in many different forms and fashions, add that to our list of items that a country wants to manage. Now, if a government is not willing to make a scam illegal, <clears throat> we have the ability for the customer to opt in. And I'm pretty sure that every customer of that ISP, if they know that there's a service that could prevent them from getting the scams, they would want this. And I think people would vote with their money and people would vote with their request to actually block scams. So it's a real chicken egg thing here. We have the tools, we're in the core networks, it's 21 year old proven technology and we just need to figure out how to collaborate. These are just some of our Partners that I can mention, we're under NDA, but a lot of other law enforcement partnerships, home offices in the UK, IWF, Arachnid, they're both, um, you know, CSAM partners behind WF and Project Arachnid are people like Interpol, FBI, all these type of people, and of course, scam advisors. Um, happy to talk to anybody. I'll put my email in my chat, and uh, there you go.
Thank you very much for your time. Hopefully I was on time, George. Perry, amazing. 10 minutes sharp on the dot. Thank you very much. But Thanks also for the thank opportunity. You, but also thank you for sharing all, all your uh, insights with us. I really appreciate it.